Hey, Lauren, I think there's a real sense of relief tonight here in the Bull City that the folks who are causing chaos have been causing chaos here in the last few weeks, the last couple of months that those folks have been held responsible for their actions. The DPD is doing uh, something tonight, but one dad that we spoke with believes that there is another way to combat the scourge of violence. A Durham County Sheriff's deputy sits tonight next to the W.D. Hill Rec Center on Fayetteville Street. A precautionary measure as parents take their kids to and from camps happening inside. I think it's just a growing pain and uh, we have to figure out how to do that, how to solve it. Karthik Sundamaruthi is one of those who knew about the criminal activity a block from where he brings his 10 year old to play basketball. This is one of the areas Durham police focused on in the last week to tackle violent crime. Today, they announced more than 20 arrests. I assume that that's got to be a, a yeah. relief for, for someone coming over here to... <laughs> I, I don't know if an arrest is, is a relief. I'd rather have this place thriving, right? I'd rather have, you know, economic growth that's happening just north of 147. Here are the photos from DPD Wednesday. Guns, drugs, and money taken off the streets, though none of the court documents we found show any of the charges are for murder. So we're always doing something to combat and address the issues. Raleigh police sharing similar photos today as they talked about their efforts to reduce crime. We are intolerant of criminal behavior and activity that's occurring in our community, and we will expend every resource that we have to address crime. Chief Stella Patterson said while the number of homicides is up, seven this year versus four this time last year, they've solved every one of those cases. Meantime, back in Durham. So I, I'd rather focus on the good things that's happening. Yeah. <laughs> and, and all of these things, I'm not saying, you know, put it up. Rugged, put it under the rugs. Karthik is focused on the larger picture, including some upgrades to Hillside Park, where right now a fence sits around a memorial that clearly marks the spot where someone lost their life. So we need to bring economic growth and we need to help the people who live here, uh, you know, thrive. And as you heard, Lauren uh, Karthik talked about the improvements to the park that he thinks that could really help the neighborhood. And he really wants to try and help the folks who are living on the street to help those folks get the treatment that they need. Meantime, DPD said that since they launched this initiative last week, there have been zero incidents in any of the neighborhoods we talked about, like McDougal Terrace and over there on the Fayetteville Street corridor. Emphasizing tonight, DPD said that this is not the end of those efforts.